well, I'm on day two of my crack binge, and I keep going deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole. I already met Morpheus. I took both the pills, and now I feel funny in my tummy. But let's go even deeper into this rabbit hole and see what we uncover. So what I learned <laughs> is, first of all, if you want to find out the answer to something, just post something wrong on the internet, and then everyone will tell you why you're wrong and that you can suck a dick. So if we go to my YouTube channel, like we'll just just go through YouTube, you know, type in Alien Worlds. I'm sure, I'm sure my channel is is top. Surely my chan, surely, surely my channel is gonna somewhere near the bottom. What? Where's my channel? Where am I? Oh my God! I'm all the way in the back. Why? What do they have and I don't? A face? Are you discriminating against me because I don't have a face? Well, that's just rude. Anyway. So, in my latest video of uh, mining... Right, oh, know, hey, that's me! That's me! Fucking stupid past me. Are you stupid? Alright, so I said in the last video that you look for individual uh, lands that have a low mine count. So you go there and mine because not a lot of people mining there so you don't share the pool with so many people. But apparently, as uh, you, my great people, have pointed out, but uh, it's not how it works. So this man with this name that I'm not going to say because what the fuck is this, uh, put it put, quite nicely. So the, the whole TLM allocation where you go to pools and it fills up with uh, 3 TLM per second, that's for the whole planet, and the whole planet has a so so the planet has a maximum block size per mine in that moment when you're trying to mine. Now the lands can get the same block if there are miners. There's a block if there's a miner, so it doesn't matter if one peculiar lands. Blah, blah blah. Only thing that matters is the block size and your stats combined with the land. So yeah, the max is 100 per planet, I guess. And if you have the three deals, you get six percent. Let's say you're on three x multiplier. You get 18% of the block size, and the block size is around 1, where it normally is, and then 18% of 1 would be 0. 0.18, which makes, uh, you know, it's, yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. And he also says you can sell your, you can, so, to get more per mine, people need to be staking TLM, because as you can see, on Neri, there is 6 million staked, and the fill rate is much bigger than the other ones. But if you look at this shit, which changes every six seconds. Um, most of the time, Neri does have a bigger than one that you can mine, but it basically changes every, literally every second. Here it updates every second, but it changes every second because every second there's at least one miner. So, and yeah, see the Neri goes down pretty low as well and then goes back up and so everyone. And this is the max you can mine from the land because you can only mine up to 80% of what is available and basically these change at such rates that it doesn't really matter which land you're on as long as you are cool with the cooldown timer and the multiplier for example with my setup i'm on uh, geothermal springs now and trying this for tlm because i'm focusing on tlm so this has a 1.5 multiplier and a 1.6 multiplier on the tlm which is pretty good for the amount that I wait, because if I go to Dormant Volcano where there's 3x charge time waiting shit, then I'll have to wait an hour, but the TLM multiplier will be much bigger, but at the same time, all this shit changes so quickly that I think it's better to have lower cooldown times and mine more frequently than to have one big one, because if you have more frequent mines, then you will average out much better than on large uh, large mines where you can average out as well because for example you hit a low max mineable pool like at 0 0.3 and that's when you mine within one hour cooldown and then you just mine 0 0.3 whatever percent you mined of that and then you have to wait an hour and you can until you can mine again and then you can hit another low multiplier and so on and blah 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 you can also hit bigger ones and eventually it's going to average out, but it's going to be in a longer span time. So if you have a short attention span like me, then I think it's better to just mine on the low cooldown, like 10, 15, 20 minutes cooldown, and uh, you'll have a nicer average. 
also yeah to if you want to be mining more from the planets and in general pretty much everyone needs the stake right the more TLM is staked the more you can mine per whole planets as well so we can start a forward motion of staking TLM and to start it off I will stake myself I only have 16 staked so far because again like everyone else I didn't really give a shit about staking but since it adds to the whole thing I will put 50% of it big boom and uh, yeah I would encourage others as well if you have TL oh okay yeah there we go if you have TLM to spare, uh, I would say stake some so everyone can benefit because, again, you can always uh, resell, I mean, unstake what you staked, and it will take two days for it to appear back in your balance. Or, like, uh, like uh, Chris, I'll just call you Zex, all right? Like uh, he said, you can also sell your uh, staked TLM but there is a problem with that so you go to the Alcor exchange right you log in with your wallet I'm logged in with my wallet here it shows how much TLM I have and it's gonna show somewhere right so this is my I token this is my staked token and you can sell this as well for VAX it should be one I for two VAX so for 37 I should be getting like 74 or 5 but I'm not why because there's no liquidity if I would sell this, the price impact would be 85%. I would just be taking out all the liquidity that's in the pool because no one is, you know, putting this, putting the uh, staked tokens into liquidity. So you can, but not really. All right. So you still have to unstake it and wait two days. That's still the better option. But uh, I mean, it's not, it's not such a big deal. So basically, you can just mine wherever the fuck you want. It doesn't really matter at this point because everything is chaotic and everyone is mining and there's a shit ton of people mining right now. Again, still 8 million mines in the last 24 hours, which is insane. Right. So, what uh, what else? Thank you for your contributions and pointing out that I'm stupid. I always enjoy that. And if you want me to go down some different rabbit holes and explore some other shit... Uh, let me know in the comments because I have a lot of free time and a lot of crack on my hands. So uh, it's uh, yeah, it's it's happening. It's going. Uh, I'm still talking. Do I have anything else to say? I don't. I don't think so, man. That's about it. Um. Uh, hmm. I think I think I'm just gonna cut the video off.